Are you happy with your current studio setup? Do you want to take it up a notch? What if I told you there was one simple upgrade that will give you freedom and flexibility to create without limits? This is the Elgato Wave Mic Arm Pro, a professional low profile boom arm with gas loaded springs to hold heavy mics or cameras. This is the perfect addition to any creative studio. So first thing first, I want to give a shout out to Elgato for actually sending me this. They hit me up and said, hey, we got a new microphone arm coming out. You want to check it out? And I'm like, sure. I don't have to make a video about it, but I wanted to share how dope this microphone arm is, especially for me and a lot of creators who find cool and interesting ways to use equipment. And I'm going to show you all a really cool thing that I can do with this microphone arm. All right, let's get started. So first thing first, you're probably asking, Gil, what makes a microphone arm pro? Okay, so to me, pro definitely means something that eliminates friction and makes it easy for you to do the thing that you want to do or creates an opportunity for you to do something that you never thought possible. And what the Elgato Wave Mic Arm Pro does allows me to pretty much move my microphone arm anywhere I want to. I can get this anywhere that I want. And I actually have an extension tube and that means the weight is distributed even further out and the microphone is not sagging. I can adjust it how I want and it'll stay put. Like, it's pretty neat. <laughs> I couldn't do this with the original low profile arm, which I have right here. This was pretty much a great uh, microphone arm. Uh, the way that you adjusted it, you needed to adjust these little knobs right here, which was pretty cool. Um, at the time, but you'd have to like adjust it and readjust it to get it right. And imagine if you're on a podcast or you're doing something, you have to continuously readjust it if you want to put the microphone up higher, lower. It just became a little bit annoying, but it was a part of the process and I didn't really mind it. This is where you put the XLR cables and you kind of hide it. It looks really clean and minimalistic. The new arm takes it up a notch by actually hiding the channels under the microphone arm. The original one had it up top. The new microphone arm has it at the bottom. The Wave Mic Arm Pro's magnets are really strong. When I was setting everything up, it was kind of tough to take it off. And I'm not just saying that to sell the product, but it was really tough. Another thing that makes it pro is, again, like I said, it doesn't get in the way. It has gas loaded springs and I can easily move this anywhere that I want to up or down. And you can actually control the tension of this by actually using an Allen key that it comes with. So believe it or not, I was having trouble tightening and loosening the tension on this arm. For some odd reason, this, the screw was too tight. I couldn't loosen it or tighten it. So I had to use some PB blaster to actually loosen it up a little bit. So I sprayed some in there to actually loosen it and it, I was able to adjust the tension. And by doing that, I was able to do something amazing with the Elgato Mic Arm Pro. Not only am I able to mic my heavy microphone like the Shure SM7B, but I'm also able to put my camera on there, my Sony a7 IV with a Elgato prompter on it. And this microphone arm can handle that weight. I'm actually thinking about uh, using this microphone arm, maybe getting another one and using this one to hold my camera. Right now I have an Elgato master mount mounted onto an auto pull holding my camera, which is creating my floating camera setup, which is cool. I really like it. It looks really different when clients come in here. They're like, what the heck is going on here? And the first thing they see is a floating camera with an Elgato prompter on there. I think that looks really cool. But now I'm thinking I should definitely try um, having this on the on my desk and having my Sony a7 IV mounted to it. It's a lot simpler. If I need to adjust the height, I can just do that with a master mount. There's so many different adjustments that I have to make just to get the height right in case my client is taller or shorter. It's a little bit of friction, but not too much. But with this, I'll be able to adjust the camera's height whenever I want. So if I want to, if I have a tall client, all I have to do is just adjust the microphone arm accordingly. This microphone arm also came with a, an adapter to get, make the microphone 
arm a little bit taller. So if you hated how low the original one was and you just needed it to be a little bit taller, you can actually just add this adapter, which it comes in the box. As you can see here in its original height, I'm actually hitting my Elgato Stream Deck XL. Once I add the adapter, I'm actually going over it, which is super dope. Another pro theme that I love is being able to set yourself apart. Soon Elgato will come up with these custom, I guess, buttons or tags that you can put over your Wave Micron Pro. So I got to test out the setup with a client. My Elgato Wave Micron Pro held my Sony a7 IV and an Elgato prompter easily without sagging. It was pretty fun to test it out with the client. Now I know it works for sure. All right, y'all. So if y'all enjoyed this video, please comment down below, like, subscribe. I'll also put a link to where you can get this arm. And um, yeah, let me know how what y'all think about it. All right. See you in the next one. Peace.